Okay, we are back at W3 Schools, and we're going to work on the next advanced topic at the CSS tutorial. So go to CSS, or Cascading Style Sheets, and under the advanced, select Dimension as your topic. Now, this lesson is all about changing the dimensions of objects, whether it's paragraphs or images or iframes, what have you. You can change their dimensions. You can change their height, their width. You can set maximum height and width, minimum heights and widths. There's all kinds of choices here. And you just need to get in and start playing with these which is what I've done. I went back to our trip web page and I added a picture of my lovely wife. There's Bonnie and all of her loveliness. And I changed my style sheet for this display. The first thing that I did was say on an image tag, what I want to do is I want to display it as a block. And I want to automatically set my right and my left margins. Now that gets me this nice centered photograph. And that is the actual size of the photograph on my computer. But maybe I want to see it bigger. So... I came down and defined three different sizes, manipulating the height. Now in the first case, I said image normal, set the height automatically, height auto. Now, because I'm not specifying width along with height, your browser will automatically adjust the width so you maintain your proportions. And it's very important to use one or the other, but not both. You could skew your image, make somebody a lot thinner or a lot fatter than they really are. And please, don't make me any fatter than I already am. Okay, so I've got the normal. Then I've got big. Now I've got my height set at 50%. That's big. Could have made it bigger, could have made it 150, but we'll keep it at 50%. And then I've got image dot small. And that's set to a height of 10%. Now, because these are all classes of the image tag, they inherit or are nested in the original image. So they will all be blocked in display and all automatically have their right and left margins adjusted. So in other words, they're centered. So let's go down and let's change our image tag. Right here, we're going to add class equals big. We'll save that out. And let's refresh and see what it looks like. There we go. It's bigger, huh? Okay. Well, let's go back and let's change it to normal. And we'll save that. And we refresh. And it's back to normal. Okay. Well, how about small? We'll change our class. Whoops. Better spell it right. There's small. Let's save that out. And refresh. You know, actually, I think I like it big best of all. So let's change it back.
and we'll keep with that for now. Now, play around with these dimension settings to get a feel for how they work and where you might want to use them on your own web pages. And I'll see you very soon.